From COVID-19 testing to masks and social distancing strategies, we're learning more about what school will look like in September. Now, one expert is applauding Ontario's new back-to-school plans, but says he is disappointed the province didn't include a specific screening measure. I guess I'd point to the, the big study that came out of South Korea, a very valuable piece of knowledge there that, you know, kids under 10 apparently are not particularly contagious. We got an initial report from Australia that this was the case. We got more evidence from Iceland and their extensive contact tracing that parents could make their kids sick, but kids, young kids were not making their parents sick. Some of the reasons behind that, kids have smaller lungs and not as many droplets. According to Colin Furness, the U of T assistant professor is applauding the government's back to school plan, which includes safety measures to limit the spread of COVID, including wearing masks or face coverings for students in grades four to 12. I would have said grade five rather than grade four, but I think at, at that point, getting kids to wear masks as a matter of course, I think that's important for safety. There will be COVID cases in schools. If everyone is wearing a mask, then the COVID won't spread. But the epidemiologist is disappointed that the plan doesn't include a proactive basic screening measure that would reinforce that students coming into the schools are healthy. Pulse oximeters are really well understood. It's a very well understood technology. It's appropriate when we have an asymptomatic pandemic. I think everyone would feel safer if we could do um, pulse oximeter testing every day. That's just the, the little finger clip you stick your finger into and about 15 seconds later, it gives you a measure of your blood oxygen. Under this plan for the new school year, there won't be any mandatory testing required for teachers and staff. The province says this is just one component of a response that wouldn't be effective. Doing testing on all the teachers would be a huge amount of resources taken away from the need for quick, um, access to testing when somebody may be symptomatic. And Furness agrees, saying daily testing isn't warranted and is a severe step to mandate. But there might be an argument to make to accommodate some testing when it's called for or wanted. You might want to do that in there's, certainly there's higher risk neighborhoods. There's going to be higher risk schools. So maybe we don't want one size fits all. With a little over one month left until the start of the school year, Furness says it's important to speak to your kids about what's happening around the world and how masks are now the new norm. He suggests perhaps taking your kids to the shopping mall where everyone is wearing these face coverings to show that it isn't only something parents are asking their kids to do. For City News, I'm Faisa Amin.